Hello everyone and welcome to the video. Today it's the 1st of December, that means the first day of December. And we should put a Christmas song, Christmas tree on. This is my name. Wow. It's Patrick, it's Patrick it's saying it's Patrick's name. Oh, Ooh. You me. Patrick, meet me in the kitchen. Here we are. I guess the dummy wants to have a private conversation. Privacy. A dumb one. <laughs> so, what's on your mind? Yeah, privacy, SpongeBob. Privacy. Nice hat. <laughs> See, that's funny. Nice karate hat. Could you let up on the insults just a little bit? That's crossing the line, SpongeBob. I'll try dumbing them down a bit. Patrick, I get the feeling that you think I really am dumb. That's just what I'd expect you to say. Dumb people are always blissfully unaware of how dumb they really are. I'm only pretending to be dumb. It was our plan, remember? Oh, SpongeBob. If only you could see how stupid you sound right now when you talk of imaginary plans. Tell you what, you caught me in a good mood. I'll humor you. Go, Jeez, on, honey. go out there and act smart for everyone. Okay, I will. Here we go. Here we go. Don't worry, I'll keep I'll this warm for you. Be for the best, SpongeBob. I have a confession to make. I lied about being stupid. I just acted like a fool so you would appreciate Patrick a little bit more. I know how to talk and eat and do laundry. I even separate the dots from the lights. So why do you say we start over and try again? Bye! My name is SpongeBob SquarePants, and I am not a dummy. SpongeBob is not a dummy either. Amazing! Three minutes in the kitchen and our son has taught him to talk in complete sentences. Oh, good work, son. It wasn't easy, Dad. It looks like it's time for your next lesson, young man. Mm -hmm. Now listen to me. I'm not dumb. I have a brain. See? Here's a picture of it. That must be actual size. <laughs> no! It's normal size and fully functional. Why? I know. Two plus two equals four. <laughs> uh, nice. Have two. No! And you taught him to sing. <laughs> well, now he's short circuiting. He must have taught him a little too much. Spongebob just ran away everyone. at the end of this episode. He's a wet in this a is a different seat. episode, not a normal episode, but a different episode because the Spongebob makes it upset when Spongebob runs, scream and runs around as Patrick Star, Patrick Rock. Isn't that right, Janet? You bet, Marty! Janet? Marty? Who are you people? Molly and Jay. Excuse me, does this lovely couple belong to you? They've been standing outside my house saying, Where's Patrick all day? It's driving me nuts! Mom! Dad! I really Mom, love your mom and dad, Patrick. This time? Patrick's parents is... Do you love that thing? We don't have a son. people saying they waste NHS money. British Transport Police said it's aware of the campaign which has reduced people to t Working on it, how on earth does that feel? 
one feels humble to be part of that. The speed with Susanna that I would have liked. So there is potentially a bit. Yeah. But interesting to hear. Uh... I'm finding just how rich his architectural vocabulary is to pull them up on very sharply. Uh, not just because it's illegal, it's also doing a double disservice, uh, firstly to the children themselves. Who improve on the gossip. Children themselves. Of winter and for. Welcome to children. Dear dying. Snow falling through northern Scotland, but mild, wet and windy weather will win out later. <laughs> South Bermondsey and London Bridge, and that's causing delays of 45 minutes to journeys. On the roads, there's been an accident on the M25 clockwise between junction 16 and 17. That particular stretch running well at the moment with problems elsewhere. Let's take a look at the weather now with the case. Good morning. Today is the first day of meteorological winter and it is a very mild one. Temperatures this morning all in double figures. It stays rather grey. Grey and, and still, still windy. windy as well. I want to choose spots of rain around at first this morning. In fact, the cloud low enough and thick enough to produce one or two spots throughout the course of the day. The wind not quite as strong as yesterday, but you are still going to notice it. The temperature at 13, possibly 14 Celsius by the end of the afternoon. Overnight, again, it remains mild the temperature is not going to drop down too far at all again we hang on to the cloud one or two spots of rain mixed in there as well and the minimum temperature double figures we're looking at 11 or 12 celsius so as we head into tomorrow is another rather gray and cloudy day we hang on to the breeze as well something slightly fresher and sunnier for friday well, Vanessa Phelps is on BBC Radio London from nine she's asking if britain should bomb is targets in syria you can call it from nine Hello, welcome back. This is Breakfast with Bill Turnbull and Louise Minchin. Our main news this morning, David Cameron will ask his cabinet today to endorse his decision to hold a vote on extending British airstrikes against Islamic State militants, militants to Syria. He's proposing to hold a one-day debate tomorrow, followed by a vote on military action. It's thought around 50 Labour MPs could back the Prime Minister rather than their own leader, Jeremy Corbyn, who opposes the bombing. Mr Cameron said the time was right to extend airstrikes. Well, I believe there's growing support across Parliament for the compelling case there is to answer the call from our allies to act against ISIL in Syria and in Iraq. The headquarters, in many ways, of the uh, terrorists actually is in Syria, and it makes no sense uh, to recognise this border in the action we take when ISIL themselves don't recognise this border. The NHS in England is facing major disruption today despite a decision to call off a 24-hour strike by junior doctors. An interim deal was reached last night following five days of talks after the government suspended its threat to impose a new contract. But more than 4,000 operations had already been cancelled and will have to be rescheduled. Psychiatrists say the serial killer Peter Sutcliffe is no longer mentally ill and can be moved to a specialist prison. The 69-year-old, known as the Yorkshire Ripper, is serving life for the murder of 13 women and has been told he'll never be released. He's been in the high-security Broadmoor Hospital for more than three decades. Wales has become the first nation in the UK to make every adult a potential organ donor. From today, the system of presumed consent will mean anyone who does not want to donate will have to opt out. Ministers say the change will lead to more transplants taking place. About 7,000 people are currently waiting for organ transplants in the UK. The school's inspector at Ofsted has warned of a growing north-south divide in the standard of secondary education and says the children of poor families are most affected. In a yes, that's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> oh, Keith, 
guys so clever. Anyway, he is going to be appearing on our show today, uh, so oh. you need to keep your eyes peeled. Um, he's going to be doing his bit in the Christmas knit, which is what it is all about. Exactly, and he's still yeah. in his Christmas knit on this channel today at any time. What you do is you get 10 minutes to play along. You have to tweet us at ITV Tech Santa. Use the hashtag Hipknit for the chance to win tickets to actually be part of Tech Santa, which would be fantastic. Very, very but as soon as you see him, you've got to do that. Yeah. As soon as you see him. Too. And you might see him at some point on the show, maybe, perhaps. Possibly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just your eyes And Mark, you can't travel with the cats. It's party season. Tis. Amazing party dresses and also some great separates as well. Oh, fancy going. Lovely. The, the, the Look at that. It's been a Christmas present. Fun beautiful. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. I look forward to that. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. And after the break... Giovanna is sending out a bell ringing. Yep, bell ringing is the perfect way. Uh, what sort of a style would you describe this? It's called German Spiel. It's, it's just a movement. The people who are working all around this quarter, they were building uh, different clothes, and so people wanted to have a sort of magical moment entering in this space where it's magical and where all the botanic flowers and magical... Uh, all week, we're looking at the impact of childhood obesity and how...